Hey guys, welcome to the Cow Emporium. Today, we're gonna gather the cows from the north side of the highway and move them across right here. So we chose a quiet, hopefully, Monday morning to move them. And they're gonna be coming over to this side to uh, eat the grass off that's come back over here. This is where they start in the in May when we bring them up. Boy, that car's noisy. So we make sure that the power's off the fence and the gates are open, ready to open anyway, when we get everything gathered. Glenn will take that quad back to the far corner and he'll hoop and holler while he's up there. Hey cow. And uh, they'll make their way out. You can hear the cows calling a little bit. They want to make sure their calf is coming. You can see some in the bush there. There's not a lot of grass back here but with a little bit of rain we've just had and some heat there's some new grass growth happening and it's super lush and green but we need to get them across the road here so I'm here just kind of on top of a hill a little bit so I'm going to kind of keep track of where everybody's coming from and see if I can't get a count on bulls. I already saw one down by the water. Kind of behind where those cows are over there. I saw a bull there. So yeah, we got three we're looking for. It's a beautiful day. It's pretty smoky here. Uh, in Alberta from BC fires province next to us so this whole process yeah probably could take about an hour I'll drive the truck around and meet Glenn back over at the highway because he can take the quad over there but I can't I have to I can't go down the valley so he can go down with the quad so and his dad is waiting over there I put some signs out just Letting folks know that we're going to be moving cows across the highway. There's a little bit more traffic on the road today than I'd like to see, but certainly not weekend traffic. That's Glenn up there. Funny, he was, uh, I was videotaping him and then he called me. It's, it's good that the phones work back here, but they don't, they're not 100% reliable. They don't work everywhere. So he's got a bull back there that got on the fight a little bit and brushed up on him, of course. I mean, they're smart. They know that you can't chase them through the bush with the quad or on foot for that matter. Honestly, the bulls back here are such a pain, but we don't really have a choice but to have them back here because this is where we do our breeding for the most part. So we've got quite a few cows down here. I can still hear some mooing up where Glenn was, so. He was going to go make some more noise and investigate because you think sound travels really far and sometimes it does, usually when you don't want it to, of course, but uh, like sometimes you just can't hear 
the quad or the calling or the mooing. It just gets lost, it gets trapped in the in the trees or the valleys. A dry, uh, dried up slough here. So even when they're dry, let's go take a look at this. Even when these sloughs are dried up, and like we have a lot of sloughs back here. Thankfully, we do have a lot of water. So in rainy years, there's lots of water. I mean, you can't drive through it. You can't drive through this when it's dry. Like check these lumps out, they're crazy. Even the small sloughs have uh, lumps like that. Oh, there comes a girl. She was probably the one calling. Well, I completely missed the move because there was traffic and I was worried that they wouldn't stop. So I'm always worried they won't stop. Anyway, all the cows are across in one bull. So that's a success. <laughs> One of the bulls that we didn't get moved this morning with the cows uh, needs treated. And uh, so Glenn, <laughs> Glenn's gonna use this Wester gun to uh, give it seven shots if he can of 10 cc's each of antibiotics. So, yeah, hmm. <laughs> <Speaking of, laughs> we wish you luck, Glenn. So Gwen's a magician. He got all seven shots into that bull. Good job, Gwen. All right, we are gonna go collect some fencers and move them. Then we're gonna go drop some salt off where the cows have moved to and open a gate so they can go a little bit further Right now, I'm gonna find my way out of the bush. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye for now.